Good morning everyone. This is Dr. Mama Ghazal and today in this video we will talk about the three different members of the same family which are graphite, graphene and graphene oxide. Graphite and graphene are both uh, said to be the forms of a carbon with distinct structures and properties and graphene oxide is uh, known as the oxidized form of graphene which has recently gained a lot of attention as a platform for tissue engineering applications. So when we are talking about graphite, so it is a well-known natural mineral which is having three dimensional crystalline allotropes of carbon and it consists of a layers of hexagonally arranged carbon atoms. These layers are weakly bonded with each other which allow them to slide over one another easily. Basic properties of graphite is uh, having like a good electrical conductivity because of the free electrons between the layers. It is also a good lubricant so that it can easily slide past each other. Graphite consists of a multiple layers of graphene stacked on top of each other. Some of the basic applications of graphite are these are used as a moderator in nuclear reactors, in pencils, in lubricants and in batteries. Graphene is said to be the monolayer of graphite which can be prepared by several various chemical methods or techniques and graphene is a single layer two dimensional material with large surface area and honeycombed shaped structure. This particular graphene has uh, having various remarkable electrical, thermal and mechanical properties. These all are the members of a carbon family. Diamond is said to be the hardest member of carbon family and graphene is a very, very promising and famous nanomaterial as well. But graphene is said to be harder than diamond yet more elastic than rubber, tougher than steel yet lighter than aluminium. So graphene is the strongest known material which possesses various properties like it's, it is very strong, light, impermeable, transparent, flexible, thin and conductive. This is the basic uh, route map by which the graphene nanomaterial can be synthesized by using various chemical methods and it serves various applications like in biosensors, in sensors, in drug delivery system, in batteries, in lubricants, in agriculture and other applications also. These are the synthesis techniques by which we can synthesize graphene via graphite like chemical methods, chemical vapor deposition method, unzipping carbon nanotube, microwave assisted exfoliation method, ball milling method and green method. There are various forms of graphene also. When uh, numerous forms of graphene can be investigated such as uh, graphene oxide, reducing graphene oxide and graphene nanomaterials. And graphene's closest relative form are graphene oxide and reduced graphene oxide which itself ruling place in the family of graphene because of its different features. And this material has a great future and a wide ranges of uses. Graphene oxide has numerous benefits such as bulk production, easy to handle, cost of production and relatively very low as compared to graphene. And graphene oxide is another important member in the graphene graphite family which are considered as a derivative of graphene. So by this technique you can uh, process or form or synthesize graphene oxide by using graphene by oxidation method using these uh, particular chemicals KMnO4, H2SO4, H2O2 and NaNO3 and exfoliation method you are getting the final product which will be in the form of graphene oxide and graphene are finding uh, potential applications in several fields like in electronics, material science, energy storage, medical devices and this particular graphene nanomaterial is has been researched for its use in flexible electronics, high capacity batteries, supercapacitors and even in medical applications like drug delivery systems. So this is the chemical route to the chemically derived graphene from graphite by using oxidation method. 
by which you are getting graphene oxide then reduction method so you are getting the final product which will be like chemically derived graphene this is the general diagrammatic representation of the synthesis of graphene oxide by using the green method or eco friendly method or safer and the most protective method by using bacteria fungi plant algae biological substrates and you are getting graphene precursor by treating the graphene precursor uh, using thermal treatment you are getting the final material which will be the graphene nanomaterial so this is said to be the eco friendly and the green method by uh, for uh, synthesizing graphene as a nanomaterial graphene also having applications in the water treatment and the environmental applications also because of its various advantages such as large surface stability and recyclability it is also uh, used in uh, solar cells where this graphene and its nanomaterials are used as a transparent conductive cathode electrode and graphene also find a vast number of applications in a biomedicine and these uh, potential applications in biomedical field will be helpful in detecting organic molecules microbial cells and biomolecule and biomolecule some of the other applications of graphene are these are found helpful in energy storage in the detection of toxic metal ions in microwave adsorption in planar field em emitters biology gas sensors photocatalysis membrane for desalination and energy conversion so the, this is the basic and the general information related to graphene graphite and graphene oxide and graphene is said to be the most promising nano material by i hope that this video will be helpful to get basic idea related to these particular members of carbon family so if you like my video please do subscribe and share it thank you and bye for now.